Hey everyone, welcome back to Tech Zoom In. So, in the previous session, we have discussed about uh, what is CPI and the basic intro of the CPI. So, in this session, we are moving forward by getting the data from the back end. Okay. So, let us see how we can get the data from the back end of a particular entity, like let us take the entity of uh, supplier invoice regarding the supplier invoice. Okay. So, for that, uh, we do have some of the prerequisites like the supplier invoice service that need to get to activated and um, the thing that need to be in the active state so these are the prerequisites we'll be having for getting the data from the back end so let us see how we can do all of those okay so initially go to the transaction code of slash n slash iwfnd iwfnd slash main t services m a i n t underscore service service done so in this transaction code we can activate and maintain the services okay so uh, yeah so th these are all the services we do have in that let us filter the data and let us check whether we do have will be having this uh, supplier invoice service or not or else we need to get to activate it okay go to the filter option and check here for the supplier invoice slash supplier invoice sorry star supplier invoice star i already searched for it okay so search with that and click on right so here we will be having one service of regarding the supplier invoice okay so this service need to be in activate activated stage for sure so if it is not in activate state just go to the icf node and just activate it over here okay so I'm just going to the gateway client now. And we got the URL from here for the supplier invoice service. And just uh, we are we need to take the entities over here. Just go to the entity set. We'll be having multiple entities over here uh, which are under that service. So take the required entity from that. I'm just taking this entity of let us take a underscore supplier invoice. And this is in the get operation itself. And let's execute it. Execute that and get the data. Okay. So I'm just executing it. So we got the response as the response body is too large. Uh, that means there is a much load of data. So that uh, this is not that is not going to load and we are get we are not getting the output. So then just go to the add URI option again and go to top two. Top two select that okay and if you don't want to get the data in the xml format you can change it you can change it to json format okay just go to the add URI option again and change the format to the format equals to json so that we'll get our response in the json format and now why i'm going to execute this execute So here we got the data with the top two records with the supplier invoice of this number and we'll be having one more supplier invoice. Let us search down. So this is the supplier invoice too. Yes. So we got the top two records from this A underscore supplier invoice entity. Okay. So this is how we can get the data from the back end. So and also the URL. We got the API 2 over here. So by using this API, we can also get the data from the CPI itself. We can design a CPI iFlow and also by using this, we can get the from there itself. So uh, this is the pre-check we need to do. Either we are getting data or else we are facing some uh, any other issues. Okay. And uh, let us go to the postman again and let us check either we are getting the data or else not. Okay. So let's go to the postman. So let's take the new tab. So here the URL need to be with our host and the the URL need to be with our host and the port number. Okay. And the API. We need to concatenate all these and we need to get the data. We need to form a URL and we need to get the data. Okay. So for that, just go to the HTTPS. So here we got the data. So, but this is the HTTPS format and just go to the HTTP adapter. Just go to the HTTP again and take this, uh, take this URL. Just copy this URL and paste it in the 
postman so what we got it over here so the options you can see this is the post of our system and this is the post port number again and this is the actual uh, api that we are getting from that audit okay so just click on send so here we got the error as 401 unauthorized that means we need the authorization for getting the data over here too that's for sure right we'll be having authorization for all the things go to the authorizations tab and let me select uh, just expand it and let me select the basic authorization from here. give your username okay give your username and the password over here so i'm just giving my username and the password too okay So here I gave my uh, password and username and the password of my SAP server system. Um, just click on send again. Let us see the output. Either we are getting or yes, we got the data here of the supply invoice from um, 510001 and the next one is something with the same number of uh, two, I think so. So these are all, these are the top two supply invoice records again. So we are getting. So this is how we can uh, get the data from the backend and check in the postman by adding your host and the port number, okay? And don't forget uh, for giving the authorization. That is very mandatory having authorization, okay? So this is how you can check in the postman. Now what we can do in the next step is that we are going to design a integration flow in the CPI by using this O data, and we are getting the same data again, but uh, let us do all of this in the coming session, okay? Until then, tata, take care, bye-bye.